We're here at the Falcon Theater, where the Troubadour Theater Company is rehearsing their upcoming holiday show, Walking in a Winter One-Hit Wonderland. Normally when you think of holiday shows, you think of things like It's a Wonderful Life or The Nutcracker. The Troubadour Theater Company, however, turns that on its head with its fun and inventive holiday performances. We talked to Matt Walker, the artistic director of the Troubadour Theater Company, to learn more. We've been doing holiday shows at the Falcon since 2002. Uh, a Christmas Carol King was our first show. And since then, we've done A Stevie Wonderful Life, Santa Claus is Coming to Motown, Little Drummer Bowie, Jackson Frost, uh, Charlie James Brown Christmas. We then redid It's a Stevie Wonderful Life. Um, let me see if I can remember the rest of them. The first Joel, Frosty the Snow Manilo, uh, A Christmas West Side Story, Rudolph the Red Nosed Rain Doors, and this year, Walking in a Winter One Hit Wonderland. This show, Walking in the Winter One Hit Wonderland, features one of our characters, um, played by Beth Kennedy. She plays a character called the Winter Warlock that we first did in Santa Claus is Coming to Motown. And it was such a popular character that we've brought her back for, I think, four or five shows, including our most recent Shakespeare, Two Gentlemen of Chicago. She actually appeared in that. So we thought this year might be fun to tell the story of the Winter Warlock and how he came to be. So that's why Walking in the Winter One Hit Wonderland came about. Normally we, we, we try to provide entertainment for the whole family. That's, that's usually the goal. And the first show that we did that featured music with the Shakespeare's was 1998 and the show was Twelfth Night with the music of Three Dog Night. And it was the first time we ever thought about using a complete band. Before that, we had done a show called Spamlet, which was Hamlet with a lot of different artists. We used the Beatles and we used Nirvana, um, some classic standards. But the first actual band, Shakespeare, synergistic hybrid show was Twelfth Dog Night, 1998. Probably that, I guess that we make it look easy, but that it's really a lot of work that goes into it. Um, dancers, actors, acrobats, improvisers, clowns, comedians, musical theater performers, musicians. It takes a lot of different disciplines to be able to be a Truby, and I don't think it's something that just anybody can pull off. So, Eventually we'll run out of Shakespeare's and uh, other shows, but not for probably 150 years, so I think we're good. The show runs from December 4th to January 19th. Check out trubies.com for more.